Today we learn how much you need to charge for your videos. Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Justice with TomorrowsFilmmakers.com and today we're going to be tackling one of the biggest questions that I get asked almost on a daily basis and that is how much should I charge for my video work? Now a lot of people don't like to tackle this question because it can get pretty in depth but today I want to share with you everything that I have learned over 10 years of being in this film business. Now in today's video I want to cover three topics. One is the truth about what you're charging. Two is how to charge your client and three is determining your rates as a videographer. Now the information and techniques that I'll be sharing with you can be applied to wherever you are in your filmmaking career. I'll be showing you how I price projects now and also how I priced projects when I was first starting out because the same technique that I use to price projects now I also used back in the day. So you can take this technique and pretty much price any project that you have. But before we jump into it, let me first give you the truth about what you are charging, okay? And the truth is, whatever you are charging as a videographer, no matter where you are in your career, all right, whatever you are charging is not enough, all right? It is not enough. Almost every single videographer I have ever talked to is not charging enough and they are undervaluing their work. Now most of the time it's because they simply don't know how much they're worth or how much people will pay for their skills, but some people are just afraid of embarrassment or afraid of rejection or afraid to quote someone a really decent price because they're just afraid they're going to say no. All right. I mean, if you think you're charging too much, contact a local tree service and just ask them to quote you on cutting down a tree. Okay? Two grand. Easy to cut down a stupid tree. Because you aren't just paying for them to cut down a tree. You're paying for their equipment, their skills, their years in the business. I mean, you are paying for all of that stuff. And that's why it's $2,000. And it's the same way with a videographer. You're not just paying them to film. You're paying for their equipment, their skills, their creativity, the schooling, or whatever training they had to get to this point. You're paying for all of that. And that is worth a lot of money. And you are not charging nearly enough for your work. So now that we have that out of the way, it is time to move on to number two, and that is how to charge your client. Now, the first thing you have to do whenever you talk to a client, and this is the oldest trick in the book, and it is the most important thing you need to do, all right, is whenever you're talking to your client, the number one thing you ask them is what is your budget? That is the number one thing I ask my client whenever we're talking about pricing. What is your budget? Now, there's two reasons you would do that. One is that you want to stay in your client's budget if you ever want to work with them again. They don't want to give you a budget and you just spend whatever. You want to stay in your client's budget. That's the right thing to do. And more importantly, number two is that many times the client's budget will be three to four times as much as you were going to quote them. They'll explain the video to you and you have an idea in your mind. Yeah, you could probably do that for $3,000, but you ask them, what's your budget? And they say, our budget is $40,000. And you simply reply with, okay, I, I can work with that. I cannot tell you how many times I have talked to a client about to quote them a price and then I ask them their budget and they give me a budget that's $30,000, all right? That happens a decent amount. And that basically just means you have more money to put into this project. You can rent better gear, hire more crew members, and get extra money as well for your work. So always, always, always ask them what their budget is. But there are some clients out there that literally just refuse, refuse to give you a budget and they ask you how much you would charge them for the video. And once the client says that, then it is time to determine how much to charge them for this video and to figure out exactly how much this video is worth to you. So now I'm gonna share with you exactly how you need to come up with a budget and how you need to price your video work. So first off, you never, ever, ever price your video work in packages. I've seen some videographers actually make packages on their website that says $750 for a one to two minute video, whatever it is, $1,000 for a three minute video, and then $200 extra for every minute after that. And that is the worst idea known to mankind because you have no earthly idea what is involved in those minutes. I have literally spent three full days working on a 30 second Facebook ad for a client 
Well, I've also spent 45 minutes of my time working on a 30 minute lecture. I mean, the packages would be absolutely insane. I would get 750 for those three days on the Facebook ad. And I'd also charge the other guy like $10,000 to do that stupid 30 minute lecture. So you never, ever, ever price in packages. Now you can charge in packages for things like weddings because you pretty much know exactly what's gonna be involved every single time. The getting ready, ceremony, reception, okay, three grand. I mean, you know exactly what's gonna happen every single time. So whenever you're charging your client, there are three things that you have to know. One is your half day rate, two is your full day rate, and three is your hourly editing cost. Once you determine these three things, you can price any video project. So let's break that down for you. A half day rate is four to five hours of filmmaking, which includes all of your equipment with whatever you have, and usually you and maybe an assistant, one to two people. A full day rate is basically the exact same thing, except it's eight hours of filming. Now, this does not include rental fees, editing, extra crew if needed, etc. I mean, if they want to rent an Ursa Mini Pro for the shoot and it's $500 for a week, this is not included in your day rate. Or if they need to hire a cinematographer or an audio person, again, that is not included in your day rate. This is only for you and all your equipment. Now, on top of that, you also have an hourly editing cost. And that basically means how much do you want to make per hour with your editing? So you have your half day rates and your full day rates with shooting, but then you also charge by the hour when it comes to editing. This of course is not something you share with your client, but you determine how much you want to make per hour and then charge accordingly. So right now my full day rate is $1,500. That's my skills, all of my equipment for eight hours of filming. My half day rate is $1,000, exactly the same, just four to five hours of filming. And right now my hourly editing rate is about $100 an hour, and I tend to edit much faster than I used to. So here's an example. Let's say you sit down with a possible client. He says he doesn't have a budget and he wants you to charge him and he explains the video to you. He wants a 60 second Facebook ad for his t-shirt company. He needs to film two interviews and B-roll and the interviews can be filmed back to back and the B-roll is basically in the same location as the interviews. Nothing fancy, just two interviews and B-roll enough to make a 60 second Facebook ad. Well, I already know in my head that that is definitely going to take longer than four hours to film from setup to tear down all the interviews, all the B-roll, it's definitely gonna take more than four hours. So it would definitely have to be a full day shoot. I also know from experience and how he's actually described how the video is going to look that it's probably gonna take me, let's say eight hours to edit. So right now we have a full day rate, which is $1,500 and eight hours of editing at $100 an hour. So for this video, I would charge him $2,300 and this is for me, maybe one assistant and all of my equipment. Now, if this was the exact same client and he said he wanted a 30 second Facebook ad, uh, no interviews, just some B roll and then text on the screen. Well, I could film that all in about five hours, which is my half day rate of a thousand. And this edit wouldn't take me nearly as long. So let's just say five hours to edit at $100 an hour. So for this short 30 second Facebook ad, takes me four to five hours to film. I could do it all for 1500 bucks. But let's say on the other hand, it was a much larger company and they wanted to rent an Ari Alexa and hire a cinematographer and a producer and a boom operator and all those people that would not affect your day rate. The day rate is for you and your equipment and all of your skills. So all of that other stuff comes out of their budget and their end. It does not require you to then pay for all of those people. So as you can see, once you determine your day rates and your hourly editing cost, you again can basically price anything. But obviously this is not the numbers I used whenever I was starting out because I didn't have a lot of skill, I didn't have the best equipment. So of course my full day and half day rates would be much less. When I started out, I think I had a Canon 7D, a Rode video mic, and one dinky slider. My full day rate was about five or 600 bucks, and my half day rate was about 350 to 400. Uh, my hourly editing rate was only about $20, but it did take me a lot longer to edit projects. So with the t-shirt company, if I were to get that job when I first started out, I would charge him my full day rate of 600 bucks, and it would probably take me about eight hours to edit, at $20 an hour, which is an extra 160 bucks. So I'd basically charge him 760 to film and edit his entire Facebook ad. But if you really break that down, you're still making about 
$58 an hour, which is actually still really, really good money. So in order to make this work, you first need to determine how much your full day rates are and your half day rates are. Now your rates can go up or down depending on skill, of course, but it can also go up or down depending on your equipment. Right now I'm charging $1,500 for the equipment I currently have, but if I purchased an Ursa Mini Pro Kit, then I could start bumping up my day rate because my client wouldn't need to rent it for $500 a week because it would be included with hiring me. Same way with RED cameras, Alexa Minis, and so on. So look at what equipment you have and what skill level you're at and determine your day rate. Now one other thing I learned to do, which you should definitely do as well, and that is to start timing yourself whenever you're editing projects. No matter what project it is, big, small, Facebook ad, wedding, I mean, you time everything. And that way, once you start timing all these projects, you can start determining how much time this project actually takes. If you edit four weddings and each time they only end up taking you about six hours to edit from start to finish, then you can incorporate that knowledge into your wedding packages. Or with me, I have edited so many 30 second Facebook ads that I know from experience that it only takes me about four to five hours of editing to edit a Facebook ad. That way, whenever a client actually comes up to me and gives me the video idea and says, here's what's gonna happen, I want a 30 second Facebook ad, how much would you charge? Well, after I determine the half and full day rate, I already know from experience that 30 second Facebook ads take me about four to five hours to edit. So I'm also going to add another four to $500 to the quote that I'm about to give the client because I know from experience how long those type of videos take for me to edit. So guys, with this information, you can basically price any project that you have. And of course, there's going to be some weird projects or maybe it's a day and a half of shooting, so you have a full day and a half day rate, or maybe they just wanna hire you to film for three days and not edit. I mean, there's all these different kinds of factors that go into it, but once you figure out these three things, full day rate, half day rate, and hourly editing cost, you can basically price any project. So if you're interested in learning more about your film business and how you can take your filmmaking career to the next level, be sure to check out our full course at tomorrowsfilmmakers.com. We have over 400 lessons and over 70 hours of content from starting your film business, purchasing your gear, demo reels, building your websites, getting clients, and making a living doing what you love. We also have topics on every aspect of filmmaking from acting, editing, VFX, writing, storyboarding, you name it and we teach it and we would absolutely love for you to check it out. We also have a free one hour filmmaking webinar on how to make a living as a Christian filmmaker. Inside I'll be sharing with you my practical steps on how to get into filmmaking, how to start making money in this business, what equipment to buy, and so much more. We've helped countless students start their full-time business and even some become award-winning filmmakers. So to have access to all of that, you can click the links down below and start making a living doing what you love. So I hope that you guys have really enjoyed this and it's helped you out a lot. So determine your day rates and your hourly editing cost, and now you can have confidence whenever the client comes up to you and he says, how much will you charge me for this video? So I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. So keep filming and God bless.